What's good, YouTube? Back with another fucking podcast, bro. So, oh my god. Listen up. I'm going to be joined today with Alex and Ethan. Um, Shay's just here because he wants to listen. So, whatever. Um, but the biggest thing is we're going to be talking about a lot of different things. I'm going to go ahead and display the screen so you guys can see it real quick. This is what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about skinwalkers, wendigos, werewolves, vampires, mothmen, <gasps> all the good shit today. Um, I don't know if Alex has anyone she wants to talk about in particular, so we'll get to that as well. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and we are going to go live on Twitch. So, I'm excited. Now remember, this will not be edited, so whatever. Finally back. And we are officially uh, live on Twitch. And that's and official. So. Alex, you have anything you want to talk about in particular? Or not? Mm, not necessarily, no. Like I said, the, the subjects is uh, skinwalkers, wendigos, werewolves, vampires, mothman. I do have one. Oh, okay. What is it? Oh, you have to give me one second. Totally fine. I'm going to be uh, wearing my glasses anyway. It's totally fine. Just... <clears throat> Um, so before, I, I actually started this a little bit before 8, because I wanted to talk about something very important to me. Guys, tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a huge stream, okay, all of October. I want you guys to tune in, please. It is going to be big to me. Um, it means the world to me, really. Um, I'll give you a little bit of background at the end of the video, so stay tuned. I'm not going to announce it until the end of the video, so stay tuned. Yes, I'm leaving you on a hook. It is a big announcement. In other news, Last of Us 2, I'm going to be doing a, a stream on February 21st of 2020. I will be pre-ordering it either this week or next week. I haven't decided yet because I want to see if another bigger version is coming out or not so i'm kind of saving up myself but february 21st i'm going to be playing it probably midnight so stay tuned for that midnight would be obviously you know my time midnight my time um so stay tuned for that it's gonna be huge okay um, i found it go ahead. it's called the shanka warrican That sounds mm -hmm. interesting. Whoa, whoa, fuck that. Oh god. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> oh god. Don't they look lovely? They look beautiful. Absolutely incredible. And guys, on this podcast, you will see um, pictures. I will show pictures, so don't worry. Um, I'll give you a little bit of knowledge that I know of them, and I'll, uh, I'll just read some articles, and Alex over there, she's a yeah. fan expert, so. I, I was like, <laughs> I, I like right? you said something about something we don't know much about, and I was like, oh, this seems interesting. I'm a cryptic I'm a expert. expert. I love cryptics. So that's why she is joined here with me today. With Mondays, Mondays with Murdoch, we have five minutes to get started. I'm super excited, guys. I love, I love shit like this. <laughs> Funny. Oh, oh god. Oh. oh, I'm gonna die. Oh shit.
<laughs> so, um, as I want to be talking about this, I also want to let you guys know this will be on YouTube. So if you don't see it live, you happen to see my Twitch, and it's on the video here. You can go to my YouTube. It's always going to be uploaded to YouTube. It will be streamed through Twitch, uploaded to YouTube. I'm just super excited to talk about this stuff. Um, especially the fact that I will be streaming Last of Us 2. Oh. oh. Sorry, I thought we were still on Last of Us 2. Guys, I'm super excited for that game, alright? So just cut me some slack, would you? I, I just love that game, and I've been, like, hyped over it since I seen it was coming out February 21st. So, I think... Where do you guys want to start? Where will is Vampire's Mothman? I kind of want to like leave the Wendigos and Skinwalkers toward the end. Turned out pretty well. That's what. And the chunk of work. Fuck you, babe. All right. Out of those three, we'll do um. We'll do uh. Let's do vampires first. Yeah, I was gonna suggest vampires, but I wasn't sure. Okay, let's do vampires. Let's get it started, guys. Here we are with Mondays with Murdoch. I am joined with Alex and Ethan and Eth or Shades just in the background. He's gonna be quiet or he's gonna pipe in. Um, I don't wanna die. Mondays with Murdoch. Season's almost over. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna last much longer on this. I might start a new season. Um, next year. I don't know yet. Um, so let's get started with vampires. So. I have heard, now these are, some of these are going to be rumors, and I'll tell you what the rumors is. Um, some of the rumors is that a lot of them are in um, New Orleans. Um, apparently, if you go down and you talk about them, they kind of stray away from the question. So, and they don't, they don't look like normal humans, from what I was told. And we're talking, we're like, actual vampires here. We're not talking about, like... Twilight fangirls? Oh, Twilight fangirl. Are you a Twilight fangirl? I like Twilight. Oh, he's here. a Twilight fangirl. Um, however, there is, um... I'm pretty sure there is an animal that is a vampire. Like a... Like a... Well... No, no. I mean... There's, I mean, there's, I mean, I mean, there's vampire, bats. vampire bats. There's, yeah. There's, yeah. there's blood bats. Those would be the closest yeah. thing, actually, because yeah. so, blood bats so, actually do drink blood. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah, I don't want to get it all confused. So vampire, we're talking about a, a human-like A humanoid creature that, yeah, looks human, looks human but, but isn't. So let me see if I can find a picture of a uh, vampire bat real quick, just so you guys understand what that even looks like. Vampire Batman. What the fuck? Alright, so here we go, guys. Here is a picture of a vampire bat. Obviously, it looks pretty fucking creepy. Like, uh, fuck that. No, fuck that. I like bats, but not, not something like that. That, 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 that that's kind of creepy. Yeah, they're, they're yeah, kind they're, of creepy, creepy looking. So, um, that is. You know, kind of based off of what we're talking about, there the facial, like the facial recognition there. Um, so let me let me go ahead and explain something, or theorize something. If someone came up to me and asked me a theory on how vampires were started, here's my theory, and I could be wrong. It's just a theory. My theory is maybe they got bit by this like vampire bat and it carried a disease because bats carry. Uh, a lot of diseases. So, I mean, who knows what it could do? Maybe it mutated, you know? Like, maybe maybe this fucking vampire bat bit a human, and next thing you know, the motherfucker is growing fangs and eating blood. So, I don't know. That, that's a theory that I would have. What do you guys have? You got theories of how these could start? Before we actually jump into it and see what the deal is? What vampire bat? No, just vampires. No, just I said my theory on a vampire could be like a vampire bat vampire bit a human, 
and it like mutated into a person and then continued on. Because bats carry out various diseases, so who knows what it could have. That's not a bad theory. Not a bad theory. It could, it could I, literally I don't... be a disease that's like one in a billion. Honestly, I, Honestly, I, I, I don't have actually have a theory as to where vampires, vampires came I just... from. I just... They came from bats. They, they from evolved bats. from bats. I mean, yeah, that's, that's yeah. the best theory that I have on them. Um, as I'm looking at, like, Wikipedia is not the best, but we're going to go ahead and just read what it says off of Wikipedia here. Uh, folklore that sub cyst by feeding on a vital force generally the form of blood of living it's a european folklore so i i was kind of yeah. i, I kind of i do thought that but i, I wasn't like 100 yeah, sure yeah they're european i do have something up uh national geographic well, that's, probably they probably well, that's probably not and i it makes sense on how they got this it, it is i did see that it was started in europe so it's definitely I European have a, a folklore. History, the History Channel up, so try it. Okay, okay. But they'll probably be similar, most likely. Uh, the legendary. Uh, what is a vampire? Uh, there, there, there are what the hell? Almost as many different characteristics of vampires as there are vampire legends. But the main characteristic of vampires, or vampires, I guess, is they drink human blood. They typically drain their victims' blood using a sharp fang, killing them and turning them into vampires. So actually, it, my theory could still be correct. Because if a bat would bite a human, he genetically forms into a vampire. Next thing you know, he bites another human, and then it's getting passed over. It just, it just grows, yeah. yeah. Um, in general, vampires hunt at night since sunlight weakens their powers. Some of them, some may have the ability to morph into a bat or a wolf? Okay, that's fucked up. Here we have, uh, I was about to say something. Or you could be like, Blade, you know, he can go out into the sun. <laughs> Thrived in the Middle Ages as plague decimated entire towns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says that they thought that was the cause of their ravaging communities. But okay, there is pictures, old pictures, I don't know if we can ever find them. Old pictures of uh, like a plague that just wiped out people and bite marks, like human bite marks on their necks. I don't know if you guys ever seen pictures like that. I've seen oh that. Yeah, yeah, I've I've heard of that. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know if that was caused by vampires. But this is what it's talking about because it was during the Middle Ages. Disease mm -hmm. often left behind bleeding mouth lesions on victims, which okay, yeah. Now you're you're starting to get into what I found. Un un wait, which to be uneducated was a surge of sur, sur I, wow, sure sign of vampirism, va vampirism. Whatever that word is. Uh, okay, I found I found a good paragraph. Go for it. Often, often these legends arose from a misunderstanding on how bodies decompose. As a corpse's skin shrinks, its teeth and fingernails can appear to have grown lo longer, and as internal organs break down, a dark purge fluid can leak out of the nose and mouth. People unfamiliar with this process would interpret this fluid to be blood and suspect that the corpse has been drinking it from the living. Okay, um, okay, um the only, well, part, the of only part of that paragraph is your fingernails actually don't stop growing, growing for like a year after so... you're dead. So, it doesn't necessarily it doesn't appear that your nails are still growing, they still are. <laughs> yeah, but if yeah. you're a vampire, like, that's totally, that could be totally different. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm just like, saying, I can, like, I can, I can see... I can see... I don't know. Well, I can see it too, but I'm just I'm just pointing out the theory that, you know, I'm not a vampire. <laughs> First of all. So Yeah. Like if my genes would change like your DNA is pretty well changing in your body. It would have to. It would have to. Because now your your thirst is human blood and sunlight it weakens you. So it's like your whole your whole genetic system is changing. So maybe something stopped growing or something, you know, 
abnormal would happen. Abnormal. Obviously, something abnormal will happen if you're fucking drinking blood, but. Blood, but. But you see what I'm but saying? Like, yeah. I, I mean, this yeah. is, these are all, like, just. Technically, they're technically all theories. All theories. Well, I'm just saying, well, I'm just saying they, they thought looking at a decomposing, looking at a decomposing body, body, you know, the nails, you know, the nails are, they, look like they look like the nails are still growing, which they didn't know back then, but we know now, but we know nails, now. Still nails still grow when, when you die. die. So, I, I can, so I, I, I can, I can understand where, 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 where the folklore, where the folklore came, came from. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Now, now here's a question, though, like, maybe, maybe all these folklores happened back then because they were uneducated. Thought it was something probably a different. So we could be talking about things that you know aren't real, aren't real, but just misunderstanding. Misunderstanding or yeah, like a misunderstanding. Yeah. Uh, but I do believe in aliens. Me too. So continue on with vampires. Oh, you... oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what was you gonna say? Oh, I was gonna add to the aliens thing. I actually saw a video the other day of a singer talking about it. Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of the band Rainbow. It's the lead singer. That his name's Dio. Mm, no. He said he had an encounter with aliens before. Jeez. But back to this. <laughs> I'm just reading a paragraph here. Okay. What? What? Alright, listen to this shit. Mercy Brown. Mercy Brown may rival Count Dracula as the most notorious vampire. Unlike Count Dracula, however, Mercy was a real person. She lived in Exeter, Rhode Island, and was the daughter of George Brown, a farmer. After George lost family, many family members, including Mercy, in late 1800s to tuberculosis, his community used Mercy as a scapegoat to explain their deaths. It was uncommon at the time to blame several deaths in one family on the undead. The bodies of each dead family member were often exhumed in search for signs of vampirism. Vampirism, I guess. When Mercy's body was exhumed and didn't display severe decay, not surprising since her body was placed in an above-ground vault during a New England winter, the townspeople accused her of being a vampire and making her family sick from her icy grave. They cut out her heart, burned it, then fed the ashes to her sick brother. Perhaps not surprisingly, he died thereafter. That's kind of fucked up. And that happened in that happened mm -hmm. Wait. here. Wait. Here. Rhode Island. I think someone, I think someone on, one on one of my witch groups actually, actually shared, shared her, grave her grave site. And, everyone's, and like, everyone's like, well, who's this? this? And, 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 all and all those. I'm pretty I'm sure. sure. Maybe. That's I think up. someone did share it. So, my so, question is, do they only feed on, um, like, human blood, though? Like, if that's a thing? If, they, if they're a real Well, thing? I feel like if, if it says that they feast on blood, it should be anything that they feast on. Maybe they used to be cannibals that turned into fucking bats. I, I thought the same thing, kind of like, kind of like a Wendigo, but not quite as but not scary. Quite as scary? <laughs> Alright, okay, right okay. here. Some vampires don't ingest human blood, but claim to feed off the energy of others. Many state that if they don't feed regularly, they become agitated or depressed. Kind of like, kind of like if, well, if, if you don't eat, if, if you don't eat, you're, you're going to get hangry too. Let's see what else we can maybe find. Oh shit, I just hit the fucking... Whoops. I can I like... Oh fuck. Yeah. I seen yours, your National Geographic there. Mm-hmm. Oh, who was oh, a 
first vampire. Here we go. That's a cool one. The first vampire may be traced to Greek mythology in a story of a young Italian man named Ambriogo? Ambriogi? Am Am Ambrogio. And oh, wait a second. Ambrosio? 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 The story includes many hey, features I... of mainstream vampires tales such as passion, blood sucking, and extreme sun sensitivity. That's kind of sounds like what? weird porn. Whoa. Uh, what was the man's name? Uh, Ambrosio. Ambrosio. I have a book. I just got a book about the history of Greece, so I'll see if oh. I can find oh. it. Uh, what, what's this second? Letter. Uh, it would be. Let me look at it again. Is it M? I believe. A okay. uh, A M B R. B R. Okay. M A A M B R. Yeah. Uh, All right. So let's see what the thing I'm seeing. characteristics is here. So fangs, that's obviously, but they don't know anything don't else. Know anything. Pale skin. Pale. And range and appearance from whatever that word is to preternaturally beautiful. Hold on, what, what word? Shout. Shout. Highlight it. Highlight it. That's grotesque. That's grotesque. To return, whatever. Preter naturally? I've never seen that word before. No, it's not in here. Alright, I think I'm done with vampires. They're kind of boring. I figured, <laughs> I figured that would be. Let's do uh, let's do werewolves next. Yeah, I think. Werewolves. Yeah. yeah, I think werewolves. It's gonna be called Jacob, I call it. Is somebody hold on. <laughs> Is somebody here? What are you guys at the door for? Damn dogs. Be quiet back there. Alright. Alright. Now I'm gonna do a theory on how I think werewolves could have started. Um This ought to be, this ought to be good. Cause mine's, really, mine's really simple. I think mine I think came, is gonna come from uh, like a war. Like a war. I, f I feel like I feel you know like... maybe if if this did happen back in the ages, you know, vampires and that is, I believe that maybe uh, a native tribe started it to stop the vampires. Maybe you know vampires did feed on human. Like what if what if it is real? They just have this huge ass war. We never even heard of. So I believe it could have originated from a, a native tribe. Native being Native Americans, obviously. I don't know what tribe is. Somebody. Somebody. What about Somebody you guys? Smart. I think it's, I think simply, it's a simply a wolf bit a human and it just mutated their genes. That's literally, that's what, literally I what I think. Oh, that's a, yeah, I agree with that. That's a very good one. <laughs> But how Just exactly? But yeah, they yeah. mated with wolves. That's how. <laughs> like, I mean, that's another good. <laughs> but like, but, like honestly, honestly, honestly though, mutated genes. I mean, if I fuck a dog, it doesn't mean I'm turning to a werewolf. I said mutated. I said they mutated. Got they got bit by a wolf, and it mutated, and it mutated their genes. Like the yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I could use that one too. That could also be part of the, uh, that could also be part of what I'm going with there too. Like, that, maybe that's how the ritual started. Maybe it was a, maybe it could have been a, um, a tribe who started it, who blessed this wolf, and the next thing you know, they all got bit by it. They purposely got bit by it. Yeah. Yeah. To fight off a war. The thing, a werewolf is not necessarily an evil entity. I don't, I don't, I don't, it could be. I 
I just think it's an instinctual creature. It just relies on instinct rather than like bloodlust. Like, blood like a vampire relies on bloodlust. I think a werewolf is just, just an instinctual creature. Okay, let's read. Now, most of this stuff I did look up before, um, but a lot of this, um, I, it's going to be new to me. Similar creatures. Vampire ghost. A vampire and a ghost. Uh, this is, what is this? I don't know what this is. This is a mythical creature. Oh, it's off of Wikipedia. Uh. First mentioned in 60 AD. That's crazy, dude. Yes, yeah, Greek mythology. Yeah, Europe. Yeah. Based on Wolf, introduced by who is this guy? Another another Not potential Roman. theory could it's introduced could be by Roman. oh a Roman. Yeah, uh, yeah Petrona, uh Petronius. Um, um, here's a here's a good that's, theory. It's actually funny, it's actually um, funny because um the Romans believe that there were two brothers who actually were werewolves. Like it's in their folklore and you want to know where J.K. Rowling, Rowling got the name Remus from? One of the brothers in, Gre or in Roman mythology was named Remus and he was a werewolf. So that's where that came from. Oh, okay. That's, uh, wow. 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 <laughs> okay, go on, Ethan. I'm going to get to this after. Uh, it, it's, it's just a basic thing. Uh, maybe werewolves are just people who got raised by wolves. Because, you know, there are, you know, real accounts of that happening. I mean, that's a good point, a good that point too, good actually. Point. I, I, that's... That is a very good point. I found something else, too, but you can go ahead, Chris. Alright, so werewolf abilities. Dude, this is insane, dude. And, like, if this is real, man, like, you run into one and they want to kill you, you are dead. Listen to this shit. Superhuman speed. Superhuman endurance. Healing factor. Superhuman strength. Agility. Like superhuman. Immortality, immortality. shape shifting, Ooh. wall crawling, superhuman senses. Obviously, if you're a wolf, and night vision. Obviously, if you're a wolf. <laughs> but the, the whole fact that it says immortality, shape shifting, wall crawling. Yeah, you are fucked, bro. You're not getting away from that. <laughs> you better be fucking Harry Potter. It's about the only way. Oh my god, that's creepy that'd as be the fuck. That'd be the Flash. Dude, mm. this picture of a werewolf is creepy as a f motherfucker. That is pretty creepy. That is pretty creepy, not gonna lie. That's giving me chills, man. Damn. That is giving me fucking chills right now. Go on, was you gonna say something, Ethan? Oh, uh... Hold on, let me look at, let me look at this a little more. Uh... It said the like the war could have started with an actual disorder that a genetic disorder that causes excessive hair growth, hypertrichosis. Hypertrichosis, that's a good one. I mean, at this point, anything could be possible, really, if it's true. Yeah. 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 And I'm not gonna sit here and I'm gonna say everything in this shit's true. I'm not going to sit here and say that. I I only believe in the two that's on the screen. Uh, I, uh, I, I'm i not going to say werewolves aren't true, though. I just, you know, I think it's just such a long folklore, and you don't hear about it often that, you know, I just, I, it's hard to believe in. But I'm not sitting there and saying it ain't true. Um, but it does say werewolves made another early appearance in Greek mythology with the legend of light... Lycaon, according to the legend, Lycaon, the son of Pelagus, whatever, angered the god Zeus when he served him a meal made from the remains of a sacrificed boy. As punishment, the enraged Zeus turned Lycaon and his son into wolves. Listen to this one, babe. Werewolves also emerged in the early Nordic folklore, the saga of the Volsungs. That actually makes sense because... In Nordic, in Nordic mythology, mythology Odin had wolves, so, that actually, so makes that actually makes sense. Tells the story of a father and a son who discovered wolf pelts that had the power to turn a people into wolves for ten days. The father-son duo doned 
the yeah, pelts transformed into wolves and went killing on a killing rampage in the forest. Their rampage ended with when the father attacked his son, causing a lethal wound. The son only survived because a kind raven gave the father a leaf of with healing powers. Ooh. Man, there's a lot on this one, too. Werewolf of Dole. Holy shit, a Bedberg werewolf. Holy shit, dude, there's so much. The Shapeshifter has a werewolf. Are werewolves real? Well, let's, not, let's just read that paragraph. The werewolf phenomenon may have medical explanation. Take Peter Wildboy, for instance. In 1725, he found wandering naked on all fours <laughs> through a German forest. Many thought he was a werewolf or at least raised by wolves. Peter ate with his hands and couldn't speak. He was eventually adopted by the courts of the King George I and King George II and lived out his days as their pet in England. Well, that's kind of fuck. Fuck, <clears throat> fucking George. Uh, research has shown Peter likely had a Pitt Hopkins syndrome. Okay. A condition discovered in 1978 that caused a lack of speech, seizures, distinct facial features, uh, difficulty breathing, and intellectual challenges. Uh, other medical conditions that may have encouraged werewolf mania throughout history are lycanthropy, a rare physiologic. Physiological condition that causes people to believe they are changing into a wolf or another animal. I'm changing into a wolf. Oh, sorry. I had to do that. Maybe I have lycanthropy, fucking whatever it is. Uh, food poisoning. Of all the things, food poisoning. That's crazy. Uh, hype. Hyperthrosis, a rare genetic disorder yeah, causing that, that's... yeah excessive hair growth. Rabies, hallucination, possibly caused by hallucinogenic herbs. Well, kids, don't do bath salts. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you well, take yeah, bath salts and you turn into a fucking zombie. So why couldn't you turn into a fucking werewolf? I'm wanting something there, huh? I don't know. Thank you. Maybe it could be an LSD or something. Peyote. Fucking coyote. Fucking coyote. For all we know. For all we know. Mm -hmm. uh. Oh, so oh, here's your here's yours. Um, some um, legends maintain werewolves shape shift at will due to a curse. Other state other state they transformed. I never no, listen, I never listen. Transfer you like interrupted me. Other state Sorry. they transformed transformed with the help of an enchanted sash or a cloak made of wolf pelt, which was that uh, mythology. And still other slain people became wolves after being scratched or bit by a werewolf. But yours came from a wolf. I just said a wolf. I just said a wolf in general, yeah. yeah. But I mean all it takes is one. And then it passes on, right? I mean, that still could be a thing. It only takes one wolf to make a werewolf, and then that werewolf then continues on the genes. So, I should have done this with the vampires. Who believes in vampires after we read all that? I'm gonna word it this way. I believe, in, I believe in vampires more than I believe in werewolves, but I still believe in werewolves. But I, 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 would, I would, I. Honestly, after reading this, I'm the opposite. I believe in werewolves more than I. You'd believe in werewolves. Because, yeah. I mean, I believe. Go ahead. Both. I believe in both. I. There. It's not like what you would. What has been. Oh, these are what vampires are. Yeah, no, yeah, it's yeah. probably like you have. Oh, what's that? What was that guy who bathed himself in blood? Oh, there's, oh, there's a lot of people who do that. <laughs> yeah, Alex. Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> well, uh, no, there also is Bloody Mary. I mean, like they're not. You know, they don't suck your blood, but they bathe in it. Yeah, yeah. 
because yeah, I thought it had true. magical properties. So, I mean, that that to me could be a vampire. Hey viewers, let's do a roll call, please. Let's, I want to know who's here and chat with us. Maybe. Oh, I'm this, on it. This is good shit here. Um, so, okay, this is what I'm going to say. I believe in werewolves more than I would uh, vampires, only because... I didn't think of this until afterwards because of the, uh, what was that called? The hypothesis or whatever? The one where you access your yeah. hair? Evolution. Evolution. Yeah. Right yeah. there. I mean, you can, you can introduce evolution to that. If evolution yeah. is real, you know, some of us came from apes. Maybe a fucking werewolf. Who knows? Maybe a fucking monkey got bit by, uh, like, saber tooth or some crazy shit. And then, you know, we got a weird cat man Mutation. around. I mean, who knows about mm -hmm. that? I can make a new one right there. Catman. We got a Catman. Um, but like, cat wolves, wolves back in the like day were massive. We're talking. I'm talking like the uh, the caveman era wolves. Those things are huge. Yeah, they are. Like, uh, the, you guys ever see the giant bear that was killed? Yeah. Yeah. It was like 12 foot mm -hmm. tall, and his head. You couldn't even pick his head up, and it was it was got killed. The only reason they know that is because the bones that they found, an arrowhead was stuck in it. So, I don't know, just, I'll see if I can find a picture of that too. That's actually something cool to look at. Um, what was that even called? Giant, let's just look up giant bear. Uh, thanks GG, thanks Shade, thanks Jennifer. Um, giant bear. I don't know. Let's do giant bear. <laughs> giant, giant bear. It's gonna bring up a polar bear. It's gonna bring up a polar bear. That's the biggest bear. bear. It's bringing up a fucking stuffed animals, bro. Ah. Oh, shit, bro. That's funny. That's funny. Uh, prehistoric. Oh my god. Prehistoric giant bear. There we go. Bear power prehistoric. It brings up giant food. Short like, what the fuck? Bear. That actually might have been what it was called. Oh, yeah, that was it. That was it. Oh, hell yeah. Now, if I can find a fucking picture. Short faced bear. Uh, see if it's description. So, it was estimated one third. One third of them weighed about 900 kilograms, one short ton. The largest was 2,110 pounds. Jesus. So, in other words, so a bear that ten, could fuck you up. Yeah, eight to ten feet tall. <laughs> on all hind legs, or 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 what the fuck was that? Uh, tall on hind legs. The last like one I said, with it standing up, was 11 to 12 feet tall. And, and Jesus. The, the documentary, which I actually just seen the documentary, what I watched, it was on History Channel. They said that if this bear would stand up, it would block the sun if you're close. That's how big it was. Even at high noon. Which I don't know if you guys understand what high noon is, but that's where the sun's at the highest point. It's hard, dude. Uh, Fourteen foot arm yeah, reach. Only wow. Megan was watching. She would get it. So maybe we can do a fucking podcast on that. Prehistoric animals. Oh yeah, that'd be. Because I found okay. this very interesting. The this is the one I watched right here. I think it was either this one or this one. But they're they're both near uh, either history or National Geographic, which is almost the same thing. <laughs> when it's dealing with this shit, um, so maybe I maybe I can do a podcast. I don't know if you guys are interested. It's it's definitely interesting. Um, but anyway, uh, I say we do. Okay, well let's, we can do Mothman or we can do the Shuka Waka 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 Waka. I say we do Mothman. We'll, we'll save, okay. We'll save the Shaka Waka 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 for. The next one. One of the last ones. Yeah, the next one after the Mothman. All right, Alex, take it away. So basically, so basically, basically the Mothman, Mothman is an entity. Obviously, obviously it's a humanoid that has, that has wings like a moth. Some people have said they look like bats, but he's just on the name Mothman. 
But basically what he is is he's an entity that gets blamed for everything bad that happens. That's basically it. But he is bad. He kills people. Yes, he was blamed for the bridge collapse across the Ohio River. He was blamed for that. He's been blamed for a couple other deaths. I can't quite remember what they were, but... But, okay, this thing has been cited so much in West Virginia. They actually yes, made a statue yes. of it. And a whole, was it a whole town almost? Mm -hmm. They have a museum in, in Point Pleasant where he's been seen the most. Yep. Uh, which I would love to go to. My mom and dad have been there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so let me make this clear, though. Before we get too far, let's theorize how this thing got started. We can start with somebody else first. You wanna, Ethan, how about you go? How do you think this thing started? Mm. It, it is a, it is oh, a you, oh, very you, you guys, good You guys are going to be like, what the fuck, Alex, when I tell you mine? Should we listen to hers? It's... Save hers for last. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Uh, I think it, 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 <laughs> I'm thinking some sort of maybe some sort of science experiment gone wrong. <laughs> That's actually not a bad theory, actually. Yeah, it's not a bad one at all. Um. Uh, I'm not gonna sit there and say I'm mom bit the motherfucker, okay? That's that's just yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought that and then I, and thought, then I thought again. So. so So I'm not gonna sit there and say a moth came up and bit me. Like, okay, first off, I would not want to be claimed the moth man. I would you're, that, bro. Like, you're, I would You're you're fucking <laughs> turning into you're doing exactly how Spider Man starts, you know? He gets bit by the spider, he gets the powers. Like, no, no, you I don't wanna but it, <laughs> Mothman! It's gonna be the next Marvel movie. Mothman! <laughs> I wouldn't even say I got bit by a butterfly, honestly. So, my... I'm almost leaning towards Ethan, like a science experiment gone wrong. But... Man, this is hard. Like... I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna Tell us, a Alex. Science experiment gone wrong. Sometimes Sometimes Tell us what you're Sometimes you just, have, you're to Sometimes you just have to talk it down to. It might be a demon. It might, it be. might be. The Jersey Devil, the Jersey Devil exists. I mean, that, 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 glowing eyes. I mean, that would make sense. Instead of wings, huh. it would be... That wing. Like, that wing. No, not, I mean, not, not it, wing. Oh. demon wings. Demons can you know? fly. And think of all the times he's been sighted and think of, of, all, of all the deaths. It's, 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 I was going to say, it's all the turmoil that, that he is. Turmoil, yeah. yes. I mean... Sometimes you just have to talk it no, up. No, that's that's uh, a pretty that's a pretty good theory actually. Maybe yeah, that's died. Maybe he had a brutal. That is a died. Uh, maybe he's just. Oh Jesus! What the fuck? He's only, well, think about it. It's a demon. So something bad had to happen. Like tragically bad. Oh yeah, like, like, like fucking bad. Yeah. yeah. To be able to do this. Yeah, or. But or I, maybe just the I devil, really he like, great. binded him, he just binded him to that part, and he can't because, leave like yeah, a certain it's area. Only at Point Pleasant, that's what I'm saying, like, it, something had yeah. to happen probably in the town, or... The, or, or... the first the battle first of the American Revolutionary War happened, happened in Point Pleasant. The first battle happened, 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 happened in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Alright, alright, that, okay, that so makes now sense. Here's the next question. When did that start? When did, that start? When did the Mothman start? Alright, All right, that's, that's fair. fair. 1774. Yeah, yeah, okay, that is after... That's after that Mothman. Mothman, really? area, yeah, November 12, 1966. But, but... Wait. Wait. What did you say the Revolutionary War was? 1744. Oh, 1744. I'm thinking 1944. It's 1774. Sorry. So I mean, it, it could be, but that's like a that's a very long. So I mean, that's so, I mean, that's, that's, theory. A that's a theory. That's a theory. A bit of a stretch. Yeah, that's a very big stretch. That would be. That would be. I agree. But but but. but. You said demon. You said demon. Yeah. Yeah. 
What if someone tampered with uh, his body? That could, that could be. Like, he could have been dead from the Revolutionary War, buried at Point Pleasant. Next thing you know, they were tampered with. Somebody oh, raised a grave. Yeah, yeah and did something like that. It could be. Um. See, I'm looking here, it says, uh, I'm still in the second fucking sentence. <laughs> the Mothman was introduced to a, a wider audience by Gray Barker in 1970. And later, John Keel and the Mothman prophecies claiming there was supernatural mm -hmm. events related to yeah. sightings. And the collapse of the Silver Bridge. Oh, let's look at the uh -huh. history. Okay, okay. Yeah, now, that's so a good here, one. Here it is. Here it is. The first sighting of Mothman was by, by, an, by an abandoned World War II TNT factory. That would only be 20 years after. That is true. That is true. Yeah, someone maybe someone died fucking died in the, the, the TNT, TNT factory and... Or, or maybe they were... Like, who knows how the people were back then? Maybe they were picking on him, fucking strapped his fucking ass with TNT and blew his ass up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, he, now he can fly. Yeah. Think about it. TNT He's like, you know what? For this, I can fly now. That's true. That's true. On November 12, 1966, five men who were digging a grave at the cemetery near uh, Clendon, Clendon, West Virginia, claimed to have seen man-like figure flying low to the trees over their heads. This is often identified as a first known sighting of what became known as the Mothman. Oh, they have, oh, they have a Mothman festival. festival. What's so fun? Shortly thereafter, that? on November 15th, 1966, two young couples from Point Pleasant, Roger and Linda Scarberry, and Steve and Mary Mallet, told police they saw a large gray creature whose eyes glowed red. There it is, glowed red. That's a demon. Uh, when the car's headlights picked it up, they described it as a large flying man with 10 foot wings. Following their car while they were driving in an area outside of the town, as as the T and T area at the World War II munition plant. There it is. There it is. I mean, that could be something. You're on to something. Hey, you guys. You guys want to go ghost hunting in Point Pleasant? <laughs> or Mothman hunting? And drops you. Ah! You gonna fucking fly? fly? No, no. I don't fly. What you gonna I do? Go what you gonna do when they come That's for you? Like, because I ain't gonna get anybody no shark. Shark ain't coming on land. I ain't going out in the water. Plain and simple. I will go to the swamp though, because alligators are slow. <laughs> <laughs> he laughs. He laughs. But I ain't gonna get a point pleasant because next thing I know, I'm gonna get picked up by a motherfucker and dropped. They said they, they, they haven't seen him for a long time. You're like, I ain't about to be the one that sees him next! He's got red glowing eyes. Hail to the fucking no. Oh, and before, guys, stay tuned. Okay, stay tuned. There's a big announcement afterwards. But I also want you to stay tuned and listen to what I'm about to say because this is gonna come back up later. Human eyes don't glow. You shine a flashlight on somebody's eyes, they don't glow. So just remember that. If they do glow, you turn and run the other way. <laughs> yeah, seven foot motherfucker out of the woods. You shine a flashlight on it, and its eyes glowing, it ain't human. Run. <laughs> and if it glows red, run faster. <laughs> trip trip your, your buddy next to you. Because trip the person normal, next to you and keep going. Because <laughs> a normal, a normal animal will actually their eyes glow more yellow. Yeah. Yeah. So this mm -hmm. red, blue, fucking white, run the fuck out of there. If it's yellow, you know, it could be just a, a seven foot deer. Deer. Okay. <laughs> it's a deer man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a skin walker. No, it's a wendigo because a wendigo actually looks like a deer. Antlers. Antlers. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah, I've heard people. I've, I've never heard. I've never, I've never heard, heard of a Wendigo that has antlers. I've heard, I've heard of skinwalkers. Skin oh yeah, the first picture I see of one looks just like what, what you just said. Yeah, it looks like it has antlers. antlers. Yeah. yeah, I've only ever seen. Oh, I have a good one for the Wendigo whenever we get to it. So right, I'm sure a lot of people know about it. But let's stay on this topic first. Okay. Uh, wow, that's crazy though. Just the thing about this, this like this could, this one, is, I believe it because, like I said, it, it's been oh, yeah. so many times. Oh yeah. We're close to fucking West Virginia. We even hear about it just in the news sometimes. Well, Point Point Pleasant is only like an hour and a half, two hours from us. Oh, hell, hell. We moved. <laughs> <laughs> you know how fast you know that how is with a bird? With a bird? That's like thirty minutes. 30 minutes. <laughs> He's watching you. He's watching you. 
Why are you asleep? He's in there. He's like, ooh. I got a shotgun with his name on ooh, it. Ooh, I see that light. I see that light. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Properties of one, like what's his uh, abilities? I should say. Well, obviously, well, obviously he's, 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 he's got super strength. He's attractive. Strength. He's attracted to light. Oh, oh my god, has sex with light bulbs. Jesus. Uh, he likes to shove him in his ass. Now, here is a drawing. This is actually, uh, yeah, this is actually the legendary Mothman folklore. That's actually, That's actually um, one, of one of the people, people, people that cited the Mothman actually do that. that. I remember watching a documentary on that. And had schizophrenia, didn't he? Afterwards, he like he might have, have, yeah, I think I think he got, got some Because sort of he was close, he was really close. Whoever drew that was the one who was really close to him. Well, I remember, well, I remember in the documentary, I don't know if it's the same person that drew it, but I remember in this documentary, they talked about this person was in the house and they, and they looked out the window and it was staring at them and they could clearly see it. Like, it was in the middle of the day and they could see it. And they said it just took off and they were like, the fuck was that? I'm not, I'm not seeing anything really. Let me go back to that page. It just says 10 to 15 foot wings. Oh, five or 100 miles an hour? Okay, there. Seven yeah, foot I have seen that. Okay, you need to move now. He needs to move now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me dub that what? down. If it's an hour away for a drive, it's like 10 minutes for him now. <laughs> <laughs> you need he's like, oh, you me, bitches. Like, he's, he's, he doesn't have to take the roll. <laughs> I just see him rolling up in a oh, fucking no. Rolls Royce or some shit. Gets out of his fucking wings are stuck. <laughs> My wings are broken. <laughs> 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 Give me a minute. <laughs> Oh, that's, oh, that's what it is. Okay, the Mossman isn't necessarily he gets blamed for a bunch of. Okay, I mean he still does. It's the prophecy of the Mossman. If you see him, something's about to happen. Something big and bad's about to happen. So, so like the the bridge collapsing, the Silver Bridge. Someone saw him right before it collapsed, and that's what they chalked it up to. Is it's a prophecy, an omen that you see, which is it goes back on my my demon theory. It's an omen. Uh, we ain't talking about no fucking demons, no fucking more, right? <laughs> like, nah. <laughs> I have a book of demons. Hey. You got books or anything, don't you? Fuck demons, yep. bro. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Uh, he's really um, observed flapping his wings, except for on takeoff. Well, I mean, if he set ten foot fucking wings, man, he don't fucking gotta do that. He just woof, woof. He just yeets off the ground, you know what I'm saying? Alright. <laughs> he eats off the ground. <laughs> like a dragon. Uh, Someone said he's an alien, alien or interdimensional, interdimensional being, being, which, I mean... Uh, I mean, I wouldn't rule alien out, but... I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't rule it out. What the hell is like this, bro? What the it would, hell it would make <laughs> sense on why we haven't seen him in so long. If he's an alien, he could have just went back home. Alright, let me, let me read this. I'm on a Amino? Good point. Um, oh, you know, Amino? I'm, I'm, I'm part, part of Amino. Amino. What the fuck is Amino? What? It's like, it's like a, um, it's like, it's like Discord, it's but I think it's, I think it's, it's, I think it's a little more user friendly. Uh -huh. Not on the... Yeah, who the fuck are you talking to on there, you fucking motherfucker? Literally, Literally no one. You <laughs> fucking mother, you fucking mother. Fact, the mass mass terrestrial man. cryptid, height, eight foot nine, roughly humanoid form, height two, six foot nine insect form species humanoid moth insect mammal creature which we are mammals so that would make sense uh origin ex extraterrestrial plane of space planet unknown wingspan 12 foot one hey get out of here uh wingspan two that's humanoid form uh 10 foot 10 insect form status alive and active aggressive no dangerous typically no but if provoked yes Oh, teleportation? Hell no! Oh, oh shit! Oh, yeah, there's there's, there's the other reason why we haven't seen him. Like teleportation. <sighs> oh, so let me dub that down to he could be here like right now. If he can <laughs> so, <laughs> so um. So from an hour to thirty minutes to twenty minutes to ten minutes to now. Well, I guess we better go. Until like you know, point one milliseconds. <laughs> uh, we better go. 
Uh, teleportation, flight, accurate future predictions. That's crazy. Uh, shape shifting. Literally, all these fucking cryptids have shape shifting. Uh, yeah. Telepathy and telekinesis. Okay, hell no. Okay, hell no. Fuck all that. Weaknesses, bright lights. Oh, he don't like lights. Yeah. It's the opposite of a moth. <laughs> He's gonna teleport in your house, gonna have a fucking hey, LED hey. light right in his face. <laughs> there it is, there's a the oh. TNT, the TNT mine or whatever it was. The munitions from World War II. Hmm. Someone sold a trap there, I guarantee it. Direct hand to hand combat, he could have been bullied in the fucking uh, the TNT mine or whatever. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you're taking a fight with a- Yo, you wanna fight? You wanna fight, Mothman? I'm telling you. Excessive firearms. That could have been fucking because World War II had a lot of fucking guns, man. Yeah. yeah. I think the most guns in uh. Excessive fire, excessive fire because that's when the fucking flamethrower came out. That's when they started. Jesus to, Christ. Really I'm telling you. It was it was somebody who got tortured in that fucking TNT factory. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm with Alex completely. I believe that it was someone that was tortured. I'm still saying he was probably like. Beat up. Beat up. Yeah. Maybe, maybe even shot at or something. Shot at. Shot at. Shot at. Shot and then at. fucking strapped his ass to TNT and threw him down in a fucking hole or some shit. And there it was. And now he's a demon who shows that to him. So when you see him, he's like, hey, something gonna happen. Yes, I'm about to happen to you, yeah. And hey, okay, I'm not gonna get religious here. But maybe they haven't been seen lately because, you know, maybe something great's coming. I just, I just read, read they saw him in 2017. There have been sightings oh, all, like, all that year he in 2017. Is 789 years old. Jesus. So that. So that. I mean, this is coming off of a. I mean, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. We're, we can't really take all of this in the. Oh, yeah, time. yeah. Wow, he literally wow. eats not human. Fruit based <laughs> foods consisting of apples, bananas, peaches. And very occasional other insects. Well, that explains why he's not dangerous if he only eats it's that. Just, it's just, it's just, if he's popping that yeah. shit to leave you alone. I will keep him a banana. It's a banana. I can see. It's like Santa Claus. I may not hurt you, but I will fuck you. This certain type of food and go fuck away. Dude, I feed this motherfucker a banana. A fucking banana. A motherfucker banana. Alright, anything else we have on, uh, him that you guys wanna... Nope. Um, okay, okay. I'm just gonna say it. If anybody wants to watch a really good fucking movie about Mothman, watch the Mothman Prophecy. Yep. It has Richard, it has Richard, it has Richard Gere in it, and it's really good. Okay, that comes to the end of what we're talking about. Now, final question. We believe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Shady's gonna show up at your house oh. now. He's just gonna teleport and, to you. And, and YouTube and Twitch, whoever's watching, please comment if you believe as well on any of these. Alright, just do them all if you would. It would, it would honestly be a gift for me. Like, I, You are not on drugs? I'm trying to bring you guys <laughs> on content. So if you guys think about what, drugs. You, if you, what you believe in, that would be perfect. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna lean towards believing just because I live very close, and honestly, you hear about Mothman quite a bit. Yeah. I hate, I mean, I hate to say it, but you just hear about it quite a bit. You do. So we live, well, we don't live, like, really close, but we do live close, like, close enough. See, I, okay, I probably heard it more often when my sister lived in West Virginia. Yes. Yes, yes. But, that's just... We was all, I was always scared traveling through West Virginia. And I, if you ever notice, I get the fuck out of there. I mean, I know I'm not know I'm pleasant, but that's still the point. I know. I know. Like, fuck this. What is there? There's like an alligator man in West Virginia. Who fucking knows? As much as inbreeding goes, goes on down there. Who fucking, who fucking knows what's down there? Okay. okay. Something that I do not know. A sh Okay, you're going to have to say it. I have no idea how to pronounce this. Shanka Warkin? Shanka Warakin, I guess. It's. Um, um, I'm guessing it's like a wolf. Yeah, it says it's like a wolf in a hyena. Oh, combined. 
Uh, oh, look at that. Uh, I mean, um, they literally have a mount of this. Monster. Yeah, yeah, that it, it's the only piece of evidence that they have that it existed. Dude, that's fucked. I like this one. It's photoshopped. Look at this one. It's photoshopped. Hey, 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 hey wait, where, where are these? Where are these, where are these uh, uh, located? Like, is there a? Like, is there a... What do you mean? Well, it, it I would imagine. To a certain area. I would imagine if it is native, it'd be native around like where hyenas are in America, which Honestly, would be like Montana. Honestly, if I would say they're native, I would say they're just North American. Like maybe these things are like prehistoric. Um, 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 maybe. I'm just gonna, oh, it says in Montana. 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 Yeah, that's where Montana. that's where I would I guess, because like I yeah, like, they're similar to hyenas. Gonna, so I'm just gonna throw, throw it, out it out there. Chupacabra. Chupacabra. Nah, this has nothing. This does not look like a superpower. I think it does. I think it kind of has, has that weird ass. ass. Look at no. it. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, let's see here. I don't, I can't, I didn't even spell that right. Does it look like a Mexican Bigfoot? <laughs> yeah, like this one's more skinny. Like, see that? It's hairless. The chupacabra is more hairless. In 2007, I mean, I Jack. I see the I see the yeah. I was just thinking, cause I know. Yeah. Was like, like this. This is the visual I had. Like, thing, like things that stick out and just looks yeah. more like a weird bat type thing with no hair. I don't know, that fucking thing is kind of creepy looking. It says a man named Hutchkins hunted it. It's kind of fucking freaky. freaky looking. So, okay. And had it stuffed. Now let me, let me see. I, I couldn't tell you where this is from. Maybe it's just prehistoric. I, I couldn't tell you. Like, I couldn't even begin to tell you how this thing could have started. I don't even have a theory on it. So. You guys have a theory on it or no? Uh, I'm, I'm looking at it. Wolf, hyena, <laughs> like cross yeah. In 2007, Jack Kirby, grandson of the man who shot the animal, tracked it down to an Idaho Museum of Natural History. I, it, like, got lost for some time, and then they found it again. But then the grandson who of the man who shot it f found it. Mm -hmm. uh, the Shunkin, Shunka Warkin is a beast reportedly from the upper midwestern U.S. The name Shunka Warkin is a low way word for carrying off dogs. It is a creature described as a wolf hyena mix in appearance. It was first sighted by pioneers in the 1800s. The Hutchin family ranch in the Madison River Valley region of Montana was the epicenter of the early reports. There were reports of an odd animal terrorizing the local ranches. In a region till 1896 when Israel Hutchins shot the troublemaker. Those who got a good look at the beast described it nearly being black and having high shoulders and a high back that sloped downward like a hyena. Then one morning in late January, Israel Hutchins was alerted by dogs and this time he was able to kill it. Mm hmm. That is fucked up. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, what the hell? There was a mount of the creature made, and it is played in Idaho for a time till disappearing around the turn of the century. It was rediscovered in 2007, and is now... In a museum in Montana, DNA testing has not been done on the mount because of red tape and the fact that museums that have it wanted to keep the mystery. Maybe the museum that has it created the motherfucker. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, like, hey, I'm not, we don't want this thing out there. I mean, it could. Day. I mean, it could have easily been a wolf and a. Hyena, they, someone took a wolf and a hyena and mixed their genes, and well, that's okay. what happened. Okay, now, now this could be now, a this science, could be a science experiment, experiment gone wrong. Exactly. I mean, I don't, 
Yeah, there's definitely. A, there's a Netflix, not Netflix series, but it was on like, it was on TV. Zoo. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know if it you guys ever watched Netflix. it. It was on, it was on Netflix. Netflix. Yeah, but it was a yeah. uh, CBS series. Yeah, it was. Yeah, like, it was. I can't remember. Uh, they quit the series, and it's literally one of my favorite fucking shows. And of course, all my favorite shows get turned off. But Zoo, they had a creature that looked almost like this. Like, I mean, this could have been the uh, fucking. Like the inspiration, inspiration for, for it, it, or. Well, not. This could have been the inspiration to the show. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Yeah, okay. But like, but like, this could definitely be a science, a science, science experiment gone wrong. Gone wrong. Yeah. yeah. Well, Mothman, well, Mothman could have been too, but I think all that stuff we found is, is definitely. Nah, there's no doubt. There's a demon. What a fucking demon. Yeah. Demon. With demon. Wings. Don't fuck with it. We were wrong. Just you know, just leave it over there, and you go the other way. Everything will be fine. It won't hurt you, you unless you provoke it. You, you just stay the fuck over there. <laughs> You have fruit in your hands. Put it down and then walk away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's his fruit now. That, that's what you tell yourself. It's his <laughs> fruit now. It's his, okay. Not gonna lie, <laughs> not gonna lie, you enjoying uh, them grapes? No, they're his now. <laughs> can I? Hold on. Is there a way I can get a magnifying glass? Uh... Magnifier app, dude. Look at this. That thing is like a. That's a hog, bro. That's straight up a hog. It's a hyena pig wolf. It's a hyena pig wolf. That's what that is. A hyena pig wolf. Look at that thing. That clearly looks like a like a wild boar going on. It kind of does, yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, because it has it has a big body, but it looks bigger than a hyena's body. Yeah. Yeah. Like that thing is a fucking man bear pig. Man bear pig. Man bear. Man bear That's pig fucked up. Right. Hey, shut up. Don't make fun of me. It's a, man bear just, pig is real. Look, yeah, at, look just, at this just, motherfucker right oh, here where my mouse is. Now that's a fucking weird ass fucking chunk of work. And oh my that guy, that guy he needs arrested or something. <laughs> he needs arrested? Wow. Uh, do we want to move on or keep digging to see what we, else we can find. DNA results question mark, what? Ring Donkus? Fuck. Oh yeah, that's, that's what they named it. Ring Donkus! Dude, Dude, I bet you- I bet Whoa! 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 Maybe it's a Maybe demon dog. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, dog, but a demon dog. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that fucking face. Like, don't tell me. <laughs> that motherfucker ain't happy. happy. Okay? okay? That bitch that is bitch. not happy uh -huh. one bit. He's like, I'm gonna eat the motherfucking person who put me in here. Yeah. Alright. Right. Now, for the real question Wendigo or Skinwalkers? Dun dun dun. Which one do y'all wanna do? This one's Let's one do these Skinwalker. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. fuck you. <laughs> so I don't need an origin for this, I already know. Um Ethan, would you like to take a stab at it? Uh give me one second. I got I gotta Not look bad. at them first. No, I'm bad. I'm... I don't just know focus, I don't care. I don't care about this up or Look at her, oh yeah, this, yeah, oh yeah, this is the one I was thinking about. Whoa. Uh. I'm thinking a skinwalker would be some sort of mutated human that lives in the wild, has yeah, pale pretty, skin. That's a pretty good guess. You know, walks on all four. It's like a mm -hmm. animal human, practically. That's a really good guess. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, you pretty well know, don't you? Alex, Alex. 
What? Stop, huh? Wow, that's nice. We literally are the two biggest subjects, and she just don't want to pay attention. Oh. Yeah, my life is on the line right now. Oh, well, fuck off. Wow. Oh, asshole. Wow. wow. <laughs> Look, I know I hate you for that Uno shit, but damn. Fuck. <laughs> damn shit. Wow. But fuck. It, like, it, like, do you know, or? <laughs> like, what's your... Like, what's your... Knowledge, Knowledge with a Wendigo? No, super cool. I'm skinwalkers. How late oh, are you right now? <laughs> I have I have to go up so he doesn't... Well, see where the skinwalkers are from, because it shows right on the main page, but I already knew before um, we started. I already know, I already know, like... I always look it up first. I look at the picture. I obviously I read what it is, but then I'm like, okay, what did I think before I read that? Okay, that makes sense. Though. So I, I already know what it is. I, so, I can figure how you would already know why so when, <laughs> or what when, it is. Like, what's like, your theory on how they started, or do you just know the, the theory? I just, I just, I know the theory. I, I know the Navajo. I have well, why? How they how think they, think they, come, they to come to be. Jesus, I couldn't think of how to word that. Okay, so this okay. is a big subject here. We're going to talk about skinwalkers, and the only reason I got onto this subject was because of my mama. Alright, so listen up. It's a Navajo... Uh, I don't want to say tradition, it's just a Navajo belief. That's a good way to put it's it. It's their... yeah. Um, and it's pretty well from a the medicine man who... Does an evil deed. Yes. Yeah. Uh, typically Painter known as a, song. isn't it That's... typically known as a witch? <laughs> it's a yeah, it's it says they're a, a harmful yeah. witch. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, One, guys, one guys, yeah. <laughs> these things. All right. I, before we even get to the end, and, and by the way, I do believe in the Shanka work because they have a fucking. Mountain. Oh yeah, I, I believe that too. Yeah, they have a mount of it, and it just looks authentic when oh, you look at it. And before we even get to the end of this one, I'm gonna tell you right now, I already believe. I already, what do you have? It's one of those, it's one of those clay, clay erasers. erasers. You're like, are you anxious or something? She's over there just fidgeting. It's my, it's my, it's my ADHD. What a weirdo! I've never seen her do that shit before. Because usually, usually I'm fucking playing a game. Playing a game. Anyway, anyway, I'm already gonna tell I you I believe in skinwalkers, no doubt, because my mom um, talked to two Navajo um, Indians and Indian. talked about it last night on stream a little bit. She talked about them, so I'm clearly gonna believe in it, um, just because the way she worded it, how she said that, you know, you can tell when someone lies or someone's trying to like feed you a, a line or a fib, and this guy just he was not. She said he would not, like, he was kind of scared talking about this because you don't really talk about Skinwalker. One of the Navajo people that she was actually talking to um, actually resorted in changing over to Christianity. Um, the other one was full-blown Navajo. So, no. that puts a little bit of perspective on it. <clears throat> you know, maybe he, he was so terrified of uh, what happened in his in his real life that he just wanted to get out of the Navajo religion, I guess, or whatever tribe. So the story goes, what was it, like 20 kids in a hut? Yeah. yeah. Obviously, you guys know Indians, they live in large groups, and um, this kid was like 13, 14, it was his cousin, um, and they were in this hut. Well... It's a pretty big room, he said, and he literally, the kid just woke up at midnight, just fucking woke up, screamed as loud as he could, jumped from one end of the room to the other. We're talking, the way they, my mom described it was, it, it was a, it was inhuman. There's no way a human could jump that far. Just, uh, just get up and jump. And everyone, like seven, seven people, I think she said, tried to hold him down, but he had so much strength. And mind you, this is a 13-year-old. This was his little cousin. Like he's older, and they couldn't hold him down. Well, eventually he broke free, 
ran down the hallway, out the door. Did he yell that he was going home? I don't remember. If the... I don't remember either. He his parents died, I believe, or something. His parents never took him to where he was born, at the house. So they jump into the car and they're chasing this guy, this kid, 13 years old, in a car. They could not catch him until they reached his house where he was from. But he has no recollection that he lived there because when he was born there, they never lived there with him being there, if that makes sense. So for him to yeah. jump across the room, break out of seven grown men fucking arms, run faster than a car, about three miles down the road to his house where he was born that he has no idea that that's where he's from. That's a little that's fucked a little up. Fucked like I said, we're talking about a 13 year old fucking human or, or skinwalker. I mean, it's been skinwalker. Um, typically, a skinwalker would turn into a, a coyote, which is a symbol of healing in a Navajo. Mm -hmm. Or, uh, what else was it? That's just that's typically a, a coyote, but there was one more. I've heard stories of deer. I've heard... Uh, um, coyotes, deer... I think uh, one of them. Eagles. Eagles, um, Eagles yeah. Well, I just had this up. I just had something. Let me continue Let me on some of the Navajo traditions as well, so you guys understand what a Navajo is. So, they also do this ritual called a becoming of age. Um, it's when a, a boy becomes of age, like an adult. And they hold this arrowhead. Now, this is coming from my mom, who talked to the guy that this happened to. Uh, the medicine man does a ritual. He gives him an arrowhead. He says, do not let go of this until I tell you. So, they hold on to this arrowhead in their hand, and he said that the arrowhead started moving. He's doing this chant, this ritual, he keeps chanting, and this is over a fire. Well, he says it started to really, like, move in his hand, and he finally said, the medicine man finally said, let go, or go. So, he opened his palm, and the arrowhead took off out of his palm went over the fire and hit this black mast, like a, like a figure, who then fell into the fire and went up in flames. Like, I'm not sure what that really is. I mean, that to me could be something like uh, a future dimension. Like, you know how you guys have like deja vu or something and you're like, wait, yeah. I've been here. Like this could have been something that, a demon that happens beforehand. It's, it's something that's gonna protect him. So I don't I don't know. I couldn't tell you what that really is, but that's just it makes you think. Yeah. Yeah. Um and also he had a run in with was it was his friend or his his family member? I can't remember. Um had a run in with a skinwalker and it breathed like this black smoke out of his body into this Navajo Indian's, like, human's form, and he got real sick. Well, they took him to the medicine man, and he knew exactly what to do. He made him drink this, like, uh, herb and something mixed. Well, it made him really sick again. He goes out of the, uh, the hut and pukes, but when he pukes, Pukes up a type of black tar. Which is not good. Like, just, just think of that for a second. As he ran into a skinwalker, couldn't get away. They breathe this black smoke into this, this human. He goes back to his hut. Medicine man knows exactly what to create. He creates this uh, medicine, I guess. He makes him drink it, he kind of hallucinates a little, walks out the fucking hut, and pukes up black tar. And this guy is saying that he's seen this with his own eyes. And like I said, with my mom telling me this story, 
be pretty well, I have to almost believe her, just because she's a very good judge and character, and she moved to Texas, which is where kind of the Navajos are. Um, yeah, they're in that area. Mexico, you know, in that whole A funny night hollow. And, Thank um... You. Fuck you. <laughs> my, my uncle is the one who met these two. He, he lives in Texas, so... It's almost, like, very believable to me, because... I'm also a, a ghost hunter, so she can definitely tell when someone's like lying to you. I can't even lie to my own mom. She fucking knows. So it, it's just something that it's just crazy to think about. And these skinwalkers are definitely not fucking something to fuck with because they also are. Um, how do I put? They're shapeshifters. They can tra transform into any animal. But they typically transform into a, a, a coyote. Okay, you guys got anything else to say? Like, more? I'm, I'm gonna keep going. Uh, I've been I've talking been for like the last 30 minutes. A more common thing besides a skinwalker, I don't know if you ever heard of it, they call him the rake. Yes, I know, yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, that, he talks that, so fucking... yeah, people, people consider that him to be a yes, skinwalker, yes. Look up, which up, is where look I get up, my belief of a look up, look up of what they face. are. They're I mean, it's that first picture me. right there on Chris's screen. That picture, that image that we're next to the definition. Yeah, that's yeah, what a that's rake. What a rake that's, that's, yeah. that's what the rake well, supposedly also, looks like. Well, this is also something that I was going to bring up. Skinwalkers, there's two distinct differences that you can tell a human from a skinwalker. One is if a skinwalker is walking in a animal form, but the animal form is dysfunctional, like it doesn't walk like it's supposed to. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't look right. Yeah. It could be a skinwalker, but it could walk. Like, okay. Put it this. It will explain that image then. Yeah, the animal walks differently, but. In human form, it still walks the same. So if it was human, cause couldn't it be animal or human first? I can't remember. Or does it have to be human first? Because it was all the like, opposite. I feel like it has to be human because of the how they're witches and everything. I thought, uh, oh no, maybe that's a witch as well. I can't remember because the, the way they described it, they said it was uh, like if it's walking differently in its human form. I don't know, I can't, like, scratch that. Scratch that. I'm just scratching that. Because it's definitely going to walk different if it's in its animal form. Because it's human. That's definitely one thing about uh, a skinwalker. The other thing. I mentioned eyes earlier. Okay? If you shine a light on the human and its eyes are glowing, it could be a skinwalker. But, in its animal form, its eyes will not glow. That's what it was. It was opposite with the eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Human, form, Human the form, the eyes will glow. Animal, animal, animal form, form, they won't. Yeah. That's okay. what it was. I, I got them mixed up with the walking. Uh-huh. So, like I said, that was something that is very distinct. That is literally the, probably the number one most distinctive thing to catch. So, yeah. Night Hollow, if you ever get scared at night and you think you see a skinwalker just shine a light on his face. <laughs> if he's walking in the human bitch. form and he's got eyes are glowing, run, bro. Well, like I'm if his eyes aren't top. glowing, run too, because, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm kind of like on the second level, so, I mean, I'm not gonna really see shit out the window with all the trees, so. Um, they do have. Wow, when you have trees, dude, that's where they live, bro. They live in the woods. No, it's just like a couple big trees and about like two. Bro, um, so... they climb the trees, bro. Oh, shit. Well, <laughs> hey, so. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> uh, okay, no, I don't know. I don't, I'm just saying that. I don't know if that's true or not. They probably can, but. I would say. They probably can, can honestly. So, so Mothman, can I get that teleport? Hey, can I get that teleport? <laughs> I'll give you a banana. <laughs> I got just some bananas and some grapes. I see. I'm gonna see if I can find like the abilities of one. 
Obviously shape shifting. Yeah, shape shifting. Uh, it said that they can move at really fast speeds. Yeah, they're obvi which obvious, fast. obviously, if what that story you told. Skinwalker Paranormal Dictionary. Whoa. Strong. They're obviously strong. So I would imagine yeah, I would... they can punch you if they're strong. Oh yeah, and they probably have claws of some sort, so that would help just help them climb. Skinwalker, the Yi Naj Nadushi. Possibly the best documented Skinwalker beliefs are those relating to the Navajo nation Yi Nashiduli, whatever the fuck it is, which literally means with it, he goes on all fours in Navajo language. That's weird. Pure evil, and it is an evil creature because that's how it's formed. Is from doing evil deeds. Well, it's a well, medicine man who. He has, he has to perform a ritual, a ritual and, and it usually involves, involves the murder of a family member. Is what it is. Which is a pretty evil deed. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is an evil deed. But it's but also because they want power. That's why they do the ritual. Yeah. And yeah. They think, yeah. They think they can control it. And they can't. And they, they can't. Can. Alright, I'll, right, I'll be right back. It's coming a fucking a crazy ass fucking superhuman motherfucker. Which is nuts! This thing is nuts! Alright, here's his powers and abilities. Heightened senses. A skinwalker has superior sense of smell, even in human form. Their sense of smell can extend as far as a hundred yards. <laughs> oh, you fuck, man. Their sense of hearing. I, I'd rather deal with a mothman than a fucking. <laughs> yeah, I think mothman will kill you. You just kind of believe that it does. Their sense of hearing is also comparable to that of a dog's. Enhanced healing. A skinwalker can heal from almost. From most non-lethal wounds quicker than humans. Damn. Infectious bite. Skinwalkers can affect others with a bite so that they become skinwalkers themselves. Shapeshifting. Skinwalkers can transform into their canine from form at will. How the fuck would you supposed to shoot that then? He could come running at you like full fucking boar. Turn into a dog, turn into a human, turn into a dog, turn into a human, like, you're gonna have to, like, machine gun Kelly maybe, that bitch. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe they don't have quite, maybe they can't transform quite like that. Well, it says that it will, I'm just, just, I'm just pointing it out like maybe it could. It's only weakness is silver. Yeah. Piercing a skinwalker through the heart and head with silver will kill it. I've actually seen... Get silver. I'll send you silver, Nihala. By that time, you're it's too late. You know you're on the Supernatural Wiki? I don't know what that means. That means that it's basing all that information off of the show Supernatural. What they... Yeah, but this is this is real. See, and I've actually heard different. I've heard silver isn't actually a cure-all for it. Sometimes Why wouldn't it be? Oh, I don't know. And this is this is real? Well, yeah, but I've heard some And I people... imagine this could be real, because it's... Well, it's a, from... a healer. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Now, the infectious bite might I, not be. I remembered that episode of Supernatural. The infectious bite might not be. Yeah, I don't think that. Because I think that there's more, you gotta be like. That's why you need to be next to me, woman. I don't know what the fuck the difference is. That's a creepy ass picture. All the Skinwalker pictures are actually really- What? That's even fucked up more, bro! Yeah. Oh, hell no! Yeah? Not hollow, do not look at this picture if you don't want to sleep at night. If you want to sleep at night, don't look at this picture. If you don't want to sleep at night, look um, at this picture. I'm, I'm already off the stream, dog, so I'm gonna- Stop! You should come and get on and look at this picture. Nigga. What are you, uh, why'd you get off? It's Satan. 
My fucking PlayStation turned off. Um, it was too hot. Oh. What are you doing? It just fucking. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do it. I'm not doing it. I'm not looking at it. Come on, pussy. I'll save and send it to you. What are you fucking talking about? I'm not gonna open it then, motherfucker. Simple as that. But what if I'm not, what if I'm not, you know... That picture's a big nope! <laughs> nope. I'm gonna send it to him. Or how do I, I mean, he don't know that I'm gonna be sending it. It could be a, just a different, you know, this could be just a totally different picture. I'm gonna open that shit in like the middle of the day, so... I'll just send you silver, that's the truest thing that will kill it, I promise. Or just eat it, it's has edi Just look at the picture. Better have, better have edibles under that shit, oh god. Just oh. open it, don't be scared. I'm not gonna open it. <laughs> Most often they are seen in the form of, here it goes, wolf, or yeah, coyotes, wolves, foxes, cougars, dogs, bears, but they can also take shape of any animal. Wait, you said dogs? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You better what? check your dogs. You better check your dog, man. <laughs> no, no, no. They, no, they wear just the like skins a bunch. of the animals they transform into, hence the name Skinwalker. Sometimes also to be a one. Oh, that's fucked up. So if you see an Indian with a fucking, like, bear, I'm running. I'm, if I see a Navajo motherfucker walking towards me with a bear skin, I'm fucking running. Fuck mm. bears. I really get ate by a fucking wolf. I would, I would take it then. Fuck it, I don't care. Eat me, I ain't, I ain't fucking no with no blah 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 no fucking bear. Blah blah. blah, blah. So blah, technically, blah. they could be just everywhere. Couldn't they? Well, if there's if there's natives, uh, probably. Well, I mean, if it takes place of a wolf and he's just like fuck this place, I'm out. I'm gonna go up to Gary County, Maryland, and fuck some people up. They, they could be walking around mm. right outside right now. Zoe could be a fucking skinwalker. Zoe, are you a skinwalker? Come here, Zoe. Come here, Zoe. <laughs> oh, we gotta check you for ticks. Come here. Oh, wow, there's. I, I ain't no skinwalker. Look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty ass bitch. Look at me. Yeah, I don't think so. We're good. I think, I think Lila, we're alright. We're alright, Lila. But Zoe, she's kind of questionable. Come here. Yeah. You know Max was fine. <laughs> Max is definitely ain't no skinwalker. See, he's an alien. <laughs> <laughs> you just look at him, he's a straight up, he's an alien. A wuss say, alien. What'd you say? Max didn't, I just saw his eyes close. <gasps> Zoe? Wait, we're good. Cause I remember her eyes going when I took a picture. But Groot... Is Groot a skinwalker? Bro. Bro. I don't remember his eyes. <laughs> Anything else we want to talk about? Get that demon out of my house! Anything else we want to talk about skinwalkers? No, I mean, no, I think we're good. There's very limited information. I think we're done, think we're done here. I think we can uh, move on next topic. Yeah. More or less, um, if you want to yeah. talk more about skinwalkers, you're no, pretty well just going to have to meet a Navajo, but. Even then, it's. Even then, it's going to be sketchy because Navajos don't really talk about it because even like if they talk. talk about it, like. One one true way of getting rid of a skinwalker is you gotta say their name backwards, is it not? The the, or you, the uh, human maybe. the human who Something transformed like into a skinwalker. Is that what you told me last night or the night before when we were talking about them? You have to say their name backwards. Hello. What? Uh. I said yesterday or yesterday or the day before. Is there one true way is you say their name backwards, if you know No, you just have to know their name. But you say it backwards, don't you? No. You know, I thought you said you had to say it backwards. Nope. Oh. So, if you know the skinwalker's name, you know, you then that's one true way of getting rid of it. Um, but, that'd be fucked up. Like, how would you know? You just have but to like, guess. But like, why, but like, <laughs> but like, why would that be a thing? Like... Why would that be their one true weakness? Because names have more power than we give them. In native language, it probably native, does. Yeah, yes. Not our, I mean, our, our language. Our language, I mean, they're important, but That's they're it. not. In Native Americans, in their. Yeah, they give it more meaning, like, oh. They do. Man who flies! Like, 
That's why they have just like a name they give them. And then um, they have an Indian name. They do get an Indian name, but they earn that Indian name based on personality, based on... So, like Madison man, like cocaine dealer. <laughs> there you go, Night Hollow. If you see one of these, it's like cocaine dealer. It might, it might go away. You think? El Chapo. <laughs> El Chapo. <laughs> El Chapo. Pablo Escobar. Um, so, I'm ending this with, do you believe? I believe. I've already said that <laughs> from the start. You already know my answer. <laughs> yes, I believe. Oh, God. Uh, what else? I was going to say one more thing about Skinwalker. I was going to say. If I remember, I'll bring it back up. Now remember, big announcement after the Wendigo, so stay tuned. And last but not motherfucking least. The fucking Wendigo. These motherfuckers. Now, I did, I did things, you know, y'all ain't normally used to. Like, I didn't do Bigfoot. I, I didn't do the Loch Ness Monster. I did things that typically you don't listen to or, or know yeah. of because... Yeah. Unless it's boring. Believe! <laughs> yeah, these motherfuckers. Shit that is more local or has less evidence of is what you basically did. Um, yes. Exactly, my hollow. So, guys. Uh, Alex. How is a Wendigo created? It is the soul of a person. Hold on, I can hear myself. It is the soul of a person that during their life ate the flesh of another human. And their soul is trapped within this creature that... Pretty more, pretty much a, a hu human-like demon. Yeah, yeah. It's like a demon that in human form ate the flesh of another human. Giving them the ability to turn into a Wendigo. Mm -hmm. So, this Wendigo is probably more legendary than most um, cryptids because they don't, you don't hear about them. No, I didn't know what they were until, well, I didn't know what they were until um, Supernatural. Second episode ever of Supernatural was a Wendigo episode, but I didn't like pay that much attention to it because I'm like, oh, you know, whatever. It's a show, and then I played Until Dawn, and then that just triggered a whole sort of, all sorts of problems for me. I, I did definitely know about it before Until Dawn, because I was, I was under the impression also that it was more native-based, which I still believe is uh, a more native-based, I, I believe it still came from a native-based, uh, Native American tribe. Like a foundation somewhere. Yeah, I mean, it just kind of, it's one of the things that could just sporadically grow because what you just said in chat believe if you believe in it that means you can turn into it so sorry guys if you guys are going to believe into it that was one of the theories that was uh, was based on is if you believed in the wendigo you could actually turn into one if you knew about it but there's also the theories that I'm you you could turn into it no matter what so it's like, what do you what do you do? Like if you hear about it, then all of a sudden now you're starting to think about it. You can still believe in it. Yeah. Go ahead, Ethan. Um, I'm thinking my theory on it would be it's not a demon, but it's a demon spawn. So. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. A demon spawn. Um. But if we're taking it based off of, like, how do I, how do I word it? Based off of the uh, the native outlook of it, is it, it pretty well is. It's kind of like your inner demon, but you get to show it, I guess, in a Wendigo form. Yeah, and it, it, human and if it's, is not no. a thing. Like, yeah, I mean, if it's similar to Native American lore, it could also be practically a skinwalker. Yes, it could practically related be a to it. Now, here's For where sure. it separates, though. 
I don't. I'm, I'm gonna try to find the tribe that it's in, which I think is part of the tribe that I'm thinking of starts with a W. That's why it's called Wendigo. Um, like Wichita or some weird name. Um. So, from the tribe that I'm I'm thinking of, they they say you turn into a Wendigo more when you're desperate for food and you actually give your soul to live. But, but, now here's the catch. When you give your soul, you are now a Wendigo. But you're in such a desperate need because, let me tell you, starvation, that's when you start. Because you get so hungry, guys. That's, you literally and that's not a fun way to die. You can't, I'll, you physically can't starve to death. I mean, you can. But when you're offered the chance to eat, but you have to turn into one of these, it's almost impossible not to because you're so desperate for you're it. You're so desperate. It's just like dehydration. It's almost impossible to die from dehydration because you're what? You you actually what? Don't you faint first or some shit? You'll pass out. Yeah. You pass out. So it's almost it's almost impossible to die from starvation and dehydration. So. That's where the Wendigo really came in effect was when you are starving and, like, the spirit of the Wendigo shows up. That's why it says it's based in the northern forest of Nova, Nova Scotia, the Atlantic coast, and Great Lakes of region of Canada. Because that's just kind of... Maybe that's where the spirit is. I don't know. That, that I don't know. Um, that, that's the theory behind the Wendigo is you are starving to death and it's like, here's a chance to live, but you gotta be a Wendigo. Like, that's a fucked up way to do it, but, and it's only weakness is fire, I believe. That's the only weakness, but let's, let's look. Let's get into it. Is a people eating creature or evil spirit native to the Nova Scotia? Blah blah blah. What is this? Subgrouping. I don't know that. We're out of hot pockets. <laughs> we are. Sounds tough out of hot pockets. Hmm. Yeah, psychosis, see? It's like, uh, there's your psychosis, there's your spirit. It shows up and like, hey, free food, just gotta eat this human right here that is dead next to you. <laughs> becoming a cannibal, yep. Uh, with symptoms such as an intense craving for human flesh and fear of becoming cannibal. Mm-hmm. Maybe this is the tribe I was thinking of. The OBG, OB, 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 OG, B, fuck ever that is. I think that's the one I was thinking of. In historical accounts, Wendigo psychosis, it has been reported that humans became possessed by the Wendigo spirit after being in a situation needing food and having no other choice besides cannibalism. In 1661, there was, there's what I was talking about, uh, reported, what caused us great, greater concern was the intelligence that met upon entering the lake, namely that the men deputed... By our conductor for performance of summoning the nations, the nations to the North Sea and assigning them a rendezvous where they were to await our coming, had met their death in previous winter in a very strange manner. Those men, according to the report given us, were seized with an element unknown to us, 
but not very usual among the people we were seeking. They are afflicted with neither luency, hypochondria, nor frenzy, but have a combination of these species of disease, which affects their imagination and causes them more than canine hunger. This makes them so ravenous for human flesh that they pounce upon women, children, and even upon men like vertebral werewolves and devour them ferociously without being able to appease or glut their appetite. Ever seeking fresh prey and more greedily they the more they eat meat or they eat. God damn it. This ailment attacked our deputies and as death as the sole remedy among these simple people for checking such acts of murder, they were slain in order to stay the course of their madness. Holy fuck, this is some crazy shit I'm reading. So, Medicine Man and the... Uh, what is that? What is that tribe? Is it this one? Yeah, the Ochi Cree, a medicine man known for his powers at defeating Wendigos. What is, uh... During the winter of 1878, Swift Runner and his family were starving, and his eldest son died 25 miles away from emergency food supplies, the Hudson Bay Post. Swift Runner butchered and ate his wife and five remaining children, given that he resorted to cannibalism so near to food supplies, and killed and consumed the remains of all those present. It was revealed that Swift Runner was not the case of pure cannibalism, the last resort to avoid starvation, but rather of a man with Wendigo psychosis. He eventually confessed that he would, and it was executed by authorities. At Fort Saskatchewan, look at that, that's fucking nuts. So is it is it where they, they star, like, they're so close to starvation, but they're so close to a food supply that they, they turn into a Wendigo? Wait, what was the question? Is it is it where they they resort to cannibalism when they're so close to a food supply? Because everyone here says it was 25 miles out of the... He was close, but still ate his wife and five children. Yeah, I've heard... And when, do, you remember, do you remember the Donner Party? It was like Midwest no. region, and they were traveling, and they got stuck somewhere, and they ended up eating each other, and all that, all that stuff. Do you remember hearing ever about that? No. It's not something they necessarily teach you. It's something that I just learned on my own. But apparently, people, some people do believe that their souls are egos now, only because they resorted to cannibalism. Some people believe that it's so just, that's it's when just. Like God damn it, dog! Can you guys stay the fuck away from me? Jesus Christ. Some people Christ. believe that it's solely just once you would consume human flesh, your soul's cursed. Some people, I mean, I'm sure some people do believe, you know, well, you chose human over a fucking cow that we just slaughtered and put in front of you. You'd rather eat a human, yet your soul's definitely cursed. Oh, okay, now here's the next question. What if you resort to eating your own fingers? Because I heard people doing that. I think there might be a fine There might there. be a line there. There might no. be. I don't need you under my desk. Great. Knocking my shit under. Over. Great. Uh, in popular culture, although distinct from how it appears in traditional lore, one of the first appearances of characters are inspired or named after Winnego in non indigenous literature is Algram Blackwood, 910, short story, The Wendigo. Blackwood's. Work was influenced by uh, subsequent, sub, sub, subsequent portrayals in mainstream horror fiction. So maybe that there's your Until Dawn, Blackwoods. That's the it's, asylum. Yeah. yeah. 
But I see here, Winnegar appears in American comic books published by Marvel Comics, created by the writer Steve Englehart and artist Herb Trimple. The monster is a result of the curse that afflicts those who commit acts of cannibalism in parts of Canada. But Winnegar first appeared in The Incredible Hulk. Comic book number 162. April 1973. Fighting the Incredible Hulk as well as Wolverine in the first comic book appearance. Play the Hulk is real. Uh, let's see. In the Thing That Walks in the Wind, which in tune inspired the character in Stephen King's novel Pet Cemetery. That's. Incredible. So, some of August Derlis, the thing that walked in the wind in Iquitha, Iqua, whatever the fuck that is. Guys, this is insane, though. This is some of the fucking shit I'm reading. It's, it's not fun. No, oh, it is. There's, a, there's oh. another picture, but that's not what I'd imagine it looked like, honestly. Of course, that's... Who knows what the fuck it looks like? Yo, that's fucked up, bro. Look at that picture. There's no way. Some more or less, some people call it, it deals with the devil. I can see that too. In another version of the story, the Wendigo, the first Wendigo is said to have been a warrior who made a deal with the devil in order to save his tribe. He gave up his soul and transformed into a Wendigo. When peace ensued, there was no there was no need for such a fearsome creature, and the warrior was banished from his tribe and forced to live as an outcast. That's a... I mean, they're, they would explain your horn. That would explain your yeah, horn. Yeah, that would. Making a deal with the devil. Last but not least, guys. I didn't really... <sighs> These are fucked up creatures. <laughs> yeah, like, they're nuts, dude. Um, I didn't really talk about it all that much. Uh, but Wendigos are very supposed to be a very large creature as well, so they're definitely different than from Yeah, right there right there Native American versions of the creature spoke of gigantic spirit over 15 feet tall and had been Had once been human but had transformed into the creature by the use of magic now I know magic's a very broad term for some of you guys. So let me understand. Let me explain what magic is magic is science that is unproven not prove me wrong because you can't um, that's all magic really is it's just, it's just I believe in some magic obviously um, but yeah magic is just science that is unproven <clears throat> um, not enough ugh, evidence fucking scary these are definitely I, I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely say these are just Souls that are damned. I can I can see it yeah, being. Yeah, I can see that too. Oh look at that! Some of these creatures were said to be sent by enemy sh shamans, and other members, or and others were members of his own band, who taken. Okay, so who's shaman then? Let's see. Claimed. Oh my God, the filler. Okay, so I read this earlier, but it says. Now this one says 14 Wendigos during his lifetime. Filler claimed to have defeated 14 Wendigos. Oh my god. Uh, the frequency of Wendigo psychosis cases decreased sharply in the 20th century as the Native Americans came into greater and greater contact with Western ideologies. So they are still cited, though. This was updated in June 2019. 
So guys, let me know. You guys can always pause this video and read these articles if you wanted to on YouTube. Um, guys, let me know what you guys think of a Wendigo. Do you guys believe? I know I do. But that's just yep. me. I believe in just crazy shit. What about you? I'm just going to throw it out there. Made me develop schizophrenia. So yeah. It scared me so bad. So, more or less, guys, if I'm ever starving in the middle of Canada and you see me eating a human, please stop me because I might develop Wendigo psychosis because I believe in Wendigo, so that means I might turn into one. Now, with all these cryptic talks or whatever they call, whatever Cryptids. they're called, let's end the talk on cryptids and focus on something more... Dear, this is my big announcement, guys. This is what some of you might have been waiting for. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But here is the big announcement. As of tomorrow, October 1st, everyone should know that it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So, how can I contribute to Breast Cancer Awareness? Here's my story, and I'll probably say this um, over time. Hey, maybe you can make me a command, the story of why I'm doing these donations, something like that. Like, hashtag, or can you do, like, a weird command for that? Or no? Yeah, I can do a command for that. All right, so guys, listen, this is, this is very dear to me. This is my story. I'll say it on YouTube for you guys. Um, and again, come to my stream. I'll say it on, on stream as well. It's never going to change. Um... My grandma actually defeated breast cancer, but what's so scary about breast cancer is it can be very hereditary. Um, so it's a very big deal to me. So what's going to happen all of October is if you guys come to my stream, and I hope you do, I 100% hope you do. You can guys can gift anom anonymously or whatever, but if you guys donate to my stream in the entire month of October, especially on the 26th, I'm doing a 24-hour charity stream on October 26th. If you guys donate to me, I'm going to donate all that money, and I will do it on a live stream. I will show you guys. Of course, i got to hide my uh, identity from my card and stuff because it's got to go to my card. Um, it's going to go into my PayPal, and then i got to transfer it over just so you guys understand that. You guys donate to me and all the money that is donated. Plus, what I'm going to donate is going to go into the Breast Cancer Awareness Fund. Um, it's going to go straight to the breastcancer.org. Um, What's, I got the website. Don't worry. I will Don't. show you. What is it? Don't end your stream yet. It's called breastcancerawareness.org. So, guys, I will be donating. It is a huge deal to me. So, please, share the stream as much as possible. The whole month of October, even on Mondays with Murdoch, the title will be called Breast Cancer Awareness. Tell me if that sounds okay to you. My lie. In honor of my grandma, I want to make sure nobody has a battle with breast cancer. She may have won her battle, but a lot don't. Please help me with breast cancer awareness by donating. Yes, that is beautiful. That is okay. a beautiful thing. Um, <laughs> Just making sure I was okay with you. It is a, it is a huge deal to me. I'm kind of tearing up because of that. That's that's kind of sad. Well, that's not sad. That's. Well, no, because it's true. You know, my yeah. grandma might have won, but, you know, people don't. Like, it's just, it yeah. hits you. Um, and, it, and it's hereditary, so uh, yeah. it's just, I hope, always get checked. If you think it's it's breast cancer, males can get breast cancer, too, just to throw that out there. Rather be safe than sorry. Please go check out. It's okay. Um, you know what else you could do? You could do, I could do another command about just... I don't know, just something about how to check for it. I mean, That's fine. Lumps. I know that. Lumps, I can yeah. tell you right I now, mean, lump. Any sort of discharge from your from your nipple that's not that's not normal. Okay, like, I wouldn't probably. Maybe I'm not, not gonna write that. Could <laughs> that be a little weird? I'm but, just gonna. Um. Anyway, let me continue. Um. You know what? This I, is a huge deal to me, only because my do. grandma and past people. I, I'm. I know it runs in my family. Um, 
But if you guys don't understand, it's a big deal. I used to dress up every October, like the start of October, for football. I would always wear pink. I would always have a badge. And you guys will finally see what's going to be on my stream. I'm going to go ahead and put it on there. Breast Cancer Awareness. Stay ahead of cancer, guys. Um, so there, there's my... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have this on all of October. Um, so guys, donate, donate, donate. I'm not... This is the only time I'm actually going to ask you for money. But it's not going to me. I swear. It's not going to me. I even look on stream. I will show you right now on stream. I have it bookmarked right here. Donate to Breast Cancer Awareness Foundation. Right here it is. Donate to help women now. Right here it is. I, I am ready. This is the only time I'm going to ask for you guys to donate. I don't want the money. I want you guys to give to them. If you want to give straight to them, go for it. But the only reason I'm asking you guys to send me the donations is because I want to make sure I just want to I just want a goal for my stream. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I hope you guys really help me out on this, because um, anyone can say they donated. But if you donate to me, I'm going to make sure the money gets there, no matter what, and a whole month of October. So don't be afraid. Even a dollar, two dollars, it's okay. But breast cancer is a huge deal. So, guys, don't be scared. That's my big announcement. All of October, I will be streaming every fucking day. I'm going to make that a timer, not a command, but... And as you guys do see, I do have stream elements going. It will remind you. Again, if you guys want to know my story, that's my story. Last of Us 2 hype probably will be deleted off the stream. Um, so you guys can understand. Oh, shit. This I can take. So, guys, just help me on this journey for this October stream. Your help will be greatly appreciated. Um, there, and, and, oh. and when you donate, if you donate, down here, I can leave a comment. But when I go to donate, I'm not going to do it right now. When I go to donate, you can also send a message to someone specific, okay? So if you know somebody that died or had it, you can dedicate my donation in honor of. See that? In memory of, in honor of, and I will make sure if, there, if there's multiple, I'll do it over and over and over until all my PayPal is gone empty. My PayPal will be wiped after this. I have money in my PayPal right now waiting for it. Okay? So, just please do what you guys can so for me. Every, babe, <clears throat> Go on. Every 30 minutes, it's going to come up with that. that This is your reminder to check. Okay. I, I put it every 30 minutes. We can adjust that if you need to. So, join me on this October journey. And I promise... All this proceed will be going to a very good cause. So, I want to thank you guys for joining. Thank you for another great Mondays with Murdoch. Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, for the YouTube guys, same thing. Come to my Twitch or just donate straight to them. I don't care. It's October. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's one of the biggest months for me. So, if you guys want to support me, then come support me so I can support breast cancer awareness whether you guys donate or not i'm donating because I, I do it out of the kindness of my heart um of course i don't want to portray that over the internet all the time it's not who i am so i normally don't i don't i normally don't you know tell people i donate to this place but that's i'm telling you now i've donated multiple times so guys just help me out this year, since you know I am trying to stream on Twitch, you guys can really make an impact. Again, October 31st, you will see the stream. I thought you decided November 1st. It's either going to be October 31st or November 1st because, again, when you guys donate, Streamlabs don't take money out. 
PayPal does, but when I transfer transfer from my PayPal to my bank, it should take up to 30 minutes, or my card, it should take up to 30 minutes. Um, so some of the some of the money actually PayPal is going to take, but it's only a couple cents. But again, I'm going to be donating some too. So as much as you guys donate, I'm going to try to do as much as I can. So I really, my goal, my set goal is going to be at least 200. I don't know if that's possible, but for the whole month of October, my set goal will be 200. Um, if we reach that goal, we're going to go higher. We're going to try to do 500. So just help me out with what you can. Again, a dollar is, is something, okay? It, it is something. So I thank you guys for joining this. Thank you guys for watching this video. And if you made it this whole video, thank you so much on YouTube. Leave a like. Leave a subscribe. If you're on Twitch, follow this, please. Give me some love. And let's do this October stream, baby. Let's get it. Pray I don't die. And, and, pray, that, and pray that <laughs> Night Hall doesn't get killed by a skinwalker. <laughs> so, let's make October great. Can we? I don't care about September. Let's make October the number one month on my stream, police. That's what we're shooting for. Let's get the hype going. Tomorrow, Ooh. I want to see donations. I want to see followers. I, that's all I'm asking for in October. Don't subscribe to me. If you're going to subscribe to me, send that $5 in a donation so I can send it to the Breast Cancer Awareness. That's who I am. That's the type of person that I am. Don't subscribe to me. Send me for the $5. Just send the $5, yeah. So I can give it to the Breast Cancer Awareness. Well, That's what I want. Well, you're still going to get a sub from me, buddy. That's fine. If you still want to subscribe, you can just go ahead. But if you're new and you don't want to subscribe, just let, at least do the $5. Hell, send a $30. I don't care. I'll gift you. I'll gift you. How about I'll gift you the fucking $30 subscription ah. if you send me $30. I'll try <laughs> because I'm still trying to save up for donations as well. But <laughs> I'm just trying to get the hype going, guys. It, it's huge for me. So thank you hype all. Train. And peace out. I'll see you next Monday, maybe. Who knows? Maybe. I'll see you next maybe. Monday. But I don't know Unless if it's going to be a, <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be a Monday with Murdoch. But I will uh, see you next Nighthawk Monday. might be dead. Because I'm streaming all October for this. So come on! Love I don't know if I'm gonna make it to that bed by daylight thing. Beyond